figure below is a quadrilateral ABCD in which AB is equals to 8 centimeters, B is equals to 6 centimeters, CD is equals to AD, angle ABC is equals to 70 degrees, and angle ADC is equals to 50 degrees. So the diagram is there, and um, these are the questions that you're supposed to answer. Question number one. Uh, question number one is calculate a uh, correct one decimal place, uh, the length of AC, that is the first question. And then the second question, the length of DC. Then the third question is angle BAD. So those are the three questions that you're supposed to answer. Let's go to the first part. Calculate correct one decimal place, the length AC. So the length AC is here. We have to indicate these. So we have to draw that. So that is the length AC. Now the triangle that you're going to use to get that length is triangle ABC. And to get these, when you look at triangle ABC, you notice that we have two sides and an included angle. The side AB is 8 centimeters, side BC 6 centimeters, the angle between is 70. So this tells us that you're supposed to use the cosine rule. So this is how you're going to use the cosine rule. This side that is uh, opposite A, we shall denote you know, this one by small a, then this side will be C, then this one will be B. So B is the side that is missing, and that is what you'll be looking for. So B is equivalent to AC. So using the uh, cosine rule, this is supposed to do it. So the cosine rule will be B squared. So B squared. B squared is equals to A squared plus C squared minus 2AC uh, cosine of angle B. That is the cosine rule that you're going to use in order to get side AC. So we have um, 8 centimeters is um, C, and so we substitute these values here. So therefore, B squared, substitute these. So B squared is equals to A squared is 6 squared plus uh, C squared. Now c squared is 8, of course this is 8, c e squared minus 2 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 8 multiplied by cosine of 70 degrees. That is what we should have. So let us proceed. Uh, working out these, I want us to simplify this one the best way we can. So we get bc. This is but b squared is equals to this will be 36 plus 64. If I work out this, um, this will give um, 100. Subtract uh, this will be 12 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 6. This is a 48 times 2, which is 96 cosine of 70. So working out this using the calculator, uh, you'll get um, the whole of these 100 subtract 96 cosine of 70. If you use the calculator, you get 67.166667.166. Uh, uh, if that is the case, uh, get the square root of both sides. You get B is equal to the square root of 67. Point 166 the square root you get this one is um, 8.195 and since you're required to give the answer correct one decimal place this will be 8.2 so that will be the length of AC that is how you're supposed to do the first part of the question let's go to the second part uh, the second part length DC so let me where I see where DC is length dc now looking at this uh, length dc if we draw a line here uh, if i draw a line that passes through the middle of this line since this one is an isosceles triangle 
triangle ADC is isosceles. And therefore, uh, if that is isosceles, if I draw this line, divide this into two, this angle will be 25 degrees and this will be 25 degrees. So you see, I'll form two um, right angle triangle. And since I have got uh, AC, AC is uh, 8.195. So if I divide this one by 2, uh, this one will give um, something here you get. With that one by 2, you will get uh, 4.098. So this one you get 4.098. And this will be 4.098. So using one of these uh, triangles, I can be able to get um, the length DC. So I'm going to use this triangle here. And that one, if I use um, Sokatoa, at trigonometric ratios, I'll be able to use uh, sine. Sine will work very well. So sine of 25 is equals to, so sine of 25 degrees is equals to opposite, which is 4.0. 0.98 divided by the hypotenuse which is uh, DC so that is uh, what you're supposed to use to get DC so let me go to this space that is here mark it from here so seeing that you're going to use a sine of uh, 25 degrees is equals to uh, opposite I'm just copying what you've done here 4.098 4.098 this is a 4.098 divided by uh, DC so therefore uh, DC will be given by uh, 4.098 everything divided by sine of 25 degrees and this one when you work it out using um, a calculator you work out this one using a calculator you get nine it will give you nine point six nine point six um, nine six centimeters approximately this one to one decimal place will be nine point seven centimeters so that is how you're supposed to solve the second part of the question by simply using the trigonometric ratios Let's go to the third one, the size of angle BAD, the size of angle BAD, the size of angle BAD, BAD, which angle is this, the whole of this angle. Now, as you can see, that angle is inclusive of two angles in those two triangles. So, if this is a, if a, a triangle ADC is an isosceles triangle and this angle is 50, then this one should be 65 degrees and this angle should be 65 so the main angle that we need to calculate is this angle BAC so if you're able to get uh, angle BAC will be good to go and uh, what are we going to use uh, to get that angle BAC considering that triangle ABC already have this um, side AC Side AC is already there. Uh, side AC is there. We got it in the first question, which is um, 8.195. This is uh, 8.195. Mirror it here. 8.195. That is uh, this side. So if I use the sign rule, I think that will work very well. So let me use the sign rule. The sign rule I'm going to use here. Is this let me work it out here to be b over sine of 70 degrees is equals to a over sine a this will work very well since i have b i have a so this one will work so b over sine 70 so let me drop down here B over sine 70. So B over sine 70 is equals to me could use is equals to 
is equals to a over sine a. Now substituting what we have uh, b uh, side b, let me go to side b. b is 8.195, 8.195. 8.195 8 divided by uh, sine of 70 degrees is equals to a side a now when i look at this side a is 6 then angle a will now be the x so 6 over sine a so 6 over sine a so this would be 6 over sine of a this will work very well you can see that we have one unknown so sine a therefore uh, sine a will be given by if you make a sine a the subject of this formula you get this will be 6 sine 70 degrees divided by 8.195 so therefore sine a is equals to me work out this and see uh, what you're going to get uh, you get a zero zero point sixty eight eighty zero point sixty eight eighty so to get this uh, angle a you get the sine inverse of uh, zero point six eight eight zero this will be 43.47 degrees so that is angle a that is angle a you can see there now to get the entire angle so this angle is the one that we've got um as a 43.47 this is the angle 43.47 now to get the whole of that angle bad we shall add that 65 plus 43 plus 47 uh, 43.47 so now the whole angle uh, to get the whole angle the whole angle which is uh, BAD to get angle BAD we shall get 43.47 degrees plus 65 degrees and these are uh, when you add these you add these you get um 108.5 108.5 degrees and um, that is how we're supposed to do this uh, that part of the question let's go to the last one calculate the area of quadrilateral a b c d correct to one decimal place so we're supposed to calculate the area of these um, quadrilateral now as you can see we have divided this one into two triangles now we have triangle ABC we get the area of that and then we get the area of triangle ACD we we'll have got uh, the area of the entire of these are quadrilateral so let's begin with them um, and I want to look at these triangles we can use the same formula we can use um, a half a b sine theta for all of them a half a b sine theta so let's start with the area of triangle abc area of triangle abc so area of triangle abc so area of triangle abc uh, this one will be given by a half times a b sine of theta a b sine of theta so a b sine of theta so the product of the two sides then multiply by included angle so 6 times 8 sine 70 6 times 8 sine 70 6 times 8 and sine of 70 degrees working out these using a calculator uh, this will give you a half multiplied by 8 times 6 times 22.55 22.55 centimeter squared 
then we go and get the area of um, ADC so area of triangle ADC the area of triangle ADC as you can see here uh, triangle ADC now when you look at that again um, we have already obtained we had obtained the length DC DC and DC uh, DC was 9.696 9 point is 9 point 9 point uh, 696 696 696 the same with this 9.696 so you can see we're going to use the same formula a half a b sin theta so half times the product of two sides and multiplied by the sine of the included angle so the result is supposed to do it so a half times um uh, this is a 9.696 uh, times 9.696 multiplied by sine of the included angle which is 50 so that is uh, how you're supposed to do it so multiplying this got little half multiply by 96 this will give um, 36.01 36.01 centimeter squared now to get now the total area of the quadrilateral we're going to add these two so therefore the area now the whole area of uh, a b c d be given by we add 22.55 plus 36.01 and this um, correct one decimal place uh, correct one decimal place this will give um, will give 22.55 these are 58.6 58.6 centimeters squared and that is simply how you're supposed to solve that question Thank you.